Well, hello, Shirley. We've got ourselves a convoy. <laughs> and I'm suddenly a yokel. But, you know, you take the good with the bad. Um, I think the message said... Nine knots. Indeed. Indubitably. Let's... That's the right one. Nine. Nine. Number nine. Number nine. Yes. We'll say that they're in... Yeah, that's probably about right. Before our range. Um, West-northwest is something like this. And that'll be fine. Icky dicky. Let's go about maybe like that. And then we can sprint into position. I think that our timing... Oh, wait. We need to go fast, though. That's probably sufficient. There we go. I think our timing will be impeccable, gentlemen. And as we all know, the secret to comedy... Is timing. We have the chug there. Um, so I'm expecting them any moment, but I guess we're running kind of angular, so we may not run into them directly, but that's okay. We don't really want to at this point. I was kind of thinking though that we might run into a radar beam, but I am grateful that we have not. Okay, so let's see. It's about like 90 degrees to me. That's pretty close. And once we have steered into position, I'm going to put us under. We haven't even been hit by a radar beam, though, so they're pretty far away. I'm comfortable going about like that. And we'll just kind of cruise along for a little bit, wait until we hear them. Although we might... Hmm. We might be about to overshoot them, actually, because we're getting close to the intercept point, and we'll be there probably by the time they're over here or something like that. So let's actually drop our speed and just kind of wait. There we go. There's a warship. There's a merchant. Well, that's promising, actually. Yeah, I think that we actually have this just about right. So let's just keep watching a little bit. That line isn't that bad. It's a little bit too far to the north, but that's okay. Maybe we ought to increase speed. Oh, and we should go silent. Genius. Now, uh, the waves were still pretty bad, so we're probably going to have to resort to that method that I mentioned earlier, or that we used earlier, um, wherein I set the depth pretty, well, I just run it like a normal magnetic. It's not really any special method, I guess. But let's get them into position. Oh, I always hate the escorts. They just run around all crazy-like. Getting all crazy with their escorting. Look at that guy. Oh, God. Maybe we can... Mildly alarming. <laughs> Did not care for that. How about we slow it down to one knot? We'll see if we can take a peek in these horrible conditions. Destroyer escort. Do not want. Oh, tanker. It's a modern tanker. It's a veritable modern family of tankers. Boo! Boy, the Bad jokes are really coming on strong this episode. All right. Well, I'll get to that. I'll ID him at the very least. Wait, 
Wait, was that him? That's a that's that's another tanker. Try to be methodical about this. I see something else here, and I want to see if I can find out what it is. It wasn't the target that we saw previously because he's not very easy to sort out. What's this? That's a modern tanker. That's possibly the one that I saw earlier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what was that? There was something that was pretty close that I just saw. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's keep moving. Maybe, like, two knots. No. Dose Knoten. Or spy, whatever, whatever language this is. And that escort's getting really close. Ooh, we're gonna miss him though. That's good. Okay, I think we need to look again now. You need to be very disciplined about how you use your periscope in conditions like this so that you don't lose track of the targets you're trying to get a get a bead on because if you move the scope while you're underwater of course you're going to miss stuff it's kind of kind of obvious i guess but people like me need to be reminded of these things okay oh that's a ooh that was a lar ooh ooh yeah that's exactly what i thought it was this is a delight okay that's the modern Okay, so modern. Large. I like these targets. I'm going to go with them. I'm going to slow down. No way. I'm going to try. This could be hilariously misguided. But I'd like to try to double check the speed. Supposedly we're hovering over the large tanker. They just... The thing is, is that when it says nine knots or so, I, I just have a hard time believing it in weather like this. They don't tend to do that. They just don't. They just don't do it. Sayob is going to be... Actually, pretty steep. Yeah, he's going to be about 30 degrees. Let's take a look. Yeah. Get a load of that. Okay, well, we can try. <laughs> or not, if we can't lock onto him. I guess we could come up in depth a little bit. We are moving, too. I don't know. I just hate to plop that in like that. Just unceremoniously dump the radar reported uh, solution in. Like a used piece of toilet paper into a toilet bowl. It's an important thing to do. That's the best place to put it, I guess. But, you know. Shit. Can I get a better... Oh. I have us going up and it's it's risky. It's really risky. <laughs> I'm halfway tempted to just put eight knots in and I know that that is super lazy, but I can't even get a lock on this guy. I could wait a little bit, I suppose, but It's actually kind of an open question as to which one of these guys is closer. I can't lock. Um, 
Why don't we wait just a... Ooh, that probably was a little bit too much. I was going to say a few seconds. Depth hasn't changed appreciably, but our range probably has. Hello, yes. <sighs> God. All right, I, I'm just gonna. Fine. It pains me to do this, but I, I kind of feel like I have to. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the first target, because he's in a different row. This large tanker looks impossibly large, so I'm thinking that uh, the modern is the furthest target of the two. But I, I can't lock onto him either, though. This is very, very annoying. It, it's unnecessary. It doesn't really mimic an actual... We could actually just go ahead... Um, head slow. But I, I can't meaningfully input target information without a lock. So, I can, but it just it doesn't work very well. I'd have to be guessing at the range, and I'm not quite good enough at that. For the love of it! Please. I hear you locking, but you can't hone in. Says the game. That is aggravating. That is pretty dumb, I have to say. There's really not a good way for me to get the solution on this otherwise. God, they're so close! It's almost as much as makes no difference. I mean, I could possibly just plunk something in there and get a good... St oh, thank you, Jesus. And of course, when I do get a lock, I can't see shit. That's great. Oh, my God. That's a good ballpark. Um, let's, let's just... God. Oh, just when I fucking clicked it! God damn it! God. Fine. Fine. Uh, that AOB needs to be changed. We need to change... I said about 350, so he's almost like... That. We need to change our depth on the torpedoes. Depth. 11 because we want them to run under their magnetics I didn't hear the is it open 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 it's open I guess That's a fat, so let's change that. Go back to this. Yeah, that's definitely the closer of the two ships. I'm glad that I made that determination early on. He's fucking close. <laughs> it's not really rocket science here. Um, arithmetic. Three, three, five, two, that. It's actually... Shit, depth, depth, depth. Is that right? I don't even know if that's right. Yeah, that's right.
There we go. Well, that wasn't all that bad, but it certainly wasn't one of my finer displays. But I blame the weather. I blame the Greek god Neptune for his incompetence. We hit something. That's the modern. If that gets another eel, that thing's done for. It did just get another eel, didn't it? Let's watch. Well, the other one was delayed a little bit. Just give it a sec. There's another explosion. That was a premature detonation. Nope, that was that one. Well, we've hit two. This one's going to get hit again, for sure. Come on. Don't make me look like an idiot, game. At least not any more so than you already do. Um, come on. You want to... Maybe it bounced. That's a possibility. They're still outstanding. Let's take a look. I mean, these... Oh, no. One of them bounced. That one looks promising. Or not. Okay, so that one probably clipped off the keel of the ship that it was destined for. That's too bad. That is really bad. But it was a clean miss. Um, the other two, the, the two hits that I got, these guys are on fire. Uh, that guy's already starting to go decks awash. And he is very, very smoky. He's, he's like a... It's like a delicious ham made of oil and brawn. <laughs> I had a guy once tell me, I'm made out of balls, rebar, and concrete, son. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the context too much more, but that's, uh, that's incredible. All right, well, um, through the use of the eye of God, we have determined that this ship is about to sink, and then this one is damaged... Moving... V uh, yeah, he looks like he might be about to buy it, too. He's moving, but he's he's not moving real good, as they say. But uh, I should probably focus on not dying right now. That's usually... Oh, oh, oh. Well, we do get credit for this. Fantabulous. Well, we sank it anyways. Do we... What? Hold on, hold on, what? Is it neutral? What's the deal here? It's an American ship. I hit it with a torpedo. What's not to like? Something over there is exploding, meanwhile. That is way far away from where I am. <laughs> Just so... <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> this is a... That ship got broken in half. Um, that cannot be one of my buddies. That doesn't work. The game doesn't do that. I'm confused and a little annoyed. Because we did definitely are not getting credit for that tanker. And that was a clean hit. That was... I don't know. Maybe the game's bugging out. Well, now we're getting a she's going down message. So is that for... That is for the modern. Okay. That was a little bit of a fright. I did not care for that. But that's that's cool. Um, the other one... Again, flagrantly cheating. That is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> sorry. The other one looks to be... Um, Still afloat and moving along decently. The other one, the other tanker in its row appears to be keeping up, or it, it appears to be keeping up with the other tanker in its row. So I think, oh, let's go watch him sink. What am I doing? There's too many things happening. There's ridiculousness and insanity and mayhem and madcap silly adventures. Yay.
I don't think the single player game mimics wolf packs. I mean, that would be an explanation, I guess, but that seems pretty unlikely. I guess there's a way we could check. Um, I don't think I want to do that, though. Let's, um... We didn't get credit for it, did we? No, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're just going to keep sailing. Uh, we're good and deep. We're not getting meaningfully pursued. In fact... We can go to 128 time compression, so the enemy is at least very confused. Um, can join the club, because I am too. Um, all in all, kind of strange. Well, anyways, we're going to try to sink that large tanker. We have three um, ordinary torpedoes, two homing. I think I will follow this convoy. It is early enough in the evening. Well, maybe not. It may not be early enough for us to catch another attack on it, but we might try it tomorrow. That sounds like probably the more reasonable expectation. Ah! Disregard. That's not what I wanted. It sank. It just sank. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, that's it over there. Cool. Cool. With two hits, no less. That's that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good luck, really, is what it is. Because I do like to hit tankers with two shots apiece, just because it, it seals the deal. Uh, as you can see, it was a little bit of time before either one of them sank, but the seas are pretty rough. So that's that was on our side, I guess. This tanker... Th this tanker, I was going to say this convoy... Is full of tankers. It is basically a a large tanker in little tiny pieces. Look at all that. These are all tankers. That's a tanker. That's even that little guy's a tanker. That's a tanker. I'm cheating, but I don't think I'm gonna attack these guys anymore. I think I'm gonna keep going home. Um, because I think I've 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 done some good damage here, and I do want to start heading home. But man. And we got away clean. That's that's the important part. Oof, something else is sinking. That is getting. This is getting strange, folks. Um, can't be the bogue or whatever this is. Where was th this? I'm sorry, folks. I <laughs> Large tanker, modern tanker. It's like they're just spontaneously sinking at my very presence. It is tempting to think, though, that the, uh, the game is... Mimicking a wolf pack or something like that. I have I can't say that I've really run into that. Is that what's exploding? Somebody out there is probably just shaking their fist at the screen saying you dummy. This is what's happening Just, just move on with your life Knows exactly what's going on But damn it. I'm easily confused <laughs> Ah, That's nice. That's a nice explosion. Well, okay, here's what I was going to do to see if um, there is another uh, der, uh, if there's another U-boat in the area. And it doesn't appear to be. If there is, we can't detect it. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the period button. You can also use comma to go the other way. Woo! And that's a way of looking at all the things that you can detect. Just for funsies. But, um... Wow, okay. Well, anyways, we're going to keep going and uh, take some shots. I, I was kind of hoping what would happen here, and this is unreasonable, but I was hoping that we would run into single contacts and we would just be able to have fun that way. Like the, the large cargo, for instance. That was two contacts, but that's more of what I was expecting. So, um, But this is fine. Taking two tankers out is great. Uh, I'm just kind of prattling on at this point about stuff that doesn't really concern too many people out there. 
So I'm just going to uh, press on, uh, keep heading towards home, and uh, try to sink some more tonnage if possible.